A Michigan man is now charged with second-degree murder, manslaughter, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony after 19-year-old Renisha McBride was shot in the face with a shotgun upon arrival at his home with a blood alcohol level of .219. This is a sad situation for anyone involved in such circumstance. Corporate counsel and the media present that violent crime rates in the Dearborn Heights area of Michigan are relative to the, quote, national average, according to citydata.com, and in fact, during the months leading up to Renisha's death, there are media reports of several murders, robberies, and other vicious crime, such as the family dollar store murder and kidnapping and murder of 20-year-old Brenna Matches overnight in July. Ty Ann Brown, mother of Three's body, was found on October 30th, only a few days before this terrible accident. But of course, these things leave residents on the edge, with itchy trigger fingers, fear flowing through their veins like blood, as they're ready to defend themselves from an unlawful intrusion in the middle of the night. Sadly, Gerald Thurswell, an attorney willing to cash in on the death of this beautiful young woman and the reactive behavior of a resident kept perpetually in fear by media influence, is quoted to have said in a recent interview, quote, The bottom line is he should have called 911 when he heard a disturbance, and we know for a fact the police would have been there in two minutes, end quote. Which brings us to another horrifying story out of North Carolina this year after an unarmed man, Jonathan Farrell, also having crashed his car, was gunned down by law enforcement after a homeowner called 911 upon his seeking assistance, identical to Renisha, based on the immediate assumption that he too was breaking and entering the home. 